本語を勉強しましょううどんうどんうどんうどん教室へようこそ始めるぞ Guys, welcome to the first ever full feature うどん lesson Okay, this is gonna be off the chain off the charts crazy good for you Okay? So, if you guys are serious about learning Japanese you're definitely in the right place right now So, welcome and I'm excited to teach you guys So, first thing you need to know is hiragana and katakana. You can learn these on my、uh, other courses, but、uh, if you don't know them, don't worry about it. We'll use some romaji too. So, not a problem. You guys are lazy though, you should learn it. Okay, so let's get started. So, these lessons, guys, they're going to be split up into four main parts. Number one, the vocabulary. Okay, we're going to pepper your brain with loads of new words. Ten, actually. 10 for this lesson and hopefully 10 every lesson. Secondly, we're going to be learning a grammar point, so one main grammar point per lesson. Also, after that, we're going to be doing sentences. We're going to be building sentences to help reinforce the vocabulary and the grammar so you can actually start using the things we're learning. And then lastly, we're going to be doing a full blown summary of the whole lesson, okay? So, get your notepads out, get yourself a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, whatever you guys need. Get comfortable. Okay, it's time to learn. Okay, section one the vocabulary. It's time to learn some words. Get your notepads, get writing these things down, okay? So, you know that my style is all about using fun stories to help remember words. So, these are called mnemonics, and we're going to be using those with today's 10 vocabulary words, okay? So, let's take a look at the first word. The first word is watashi. Watashi. And this means I or me. And we can remember this by thinking about a sheep that always thinks about himself or herself. And the sheep is thinking,、ah, what a sheep I am. I'm the best sheep ever. Watashi. Watashi. I am the best sheep. Word two. Anata. Anata. This means you. So, how do we remember this? Well, If you think of a crazy person, okay, and in England we would call them a nutter. A crazy, absolutely crazy. So you would say that guy is a nutter. A nutter, you are a nutter. <laughs> The next word, number three, is sore, sore, and this means that, okay? And you can imagine saying, I am sore, I'm sorry that you are, I don't know, I'm sorry that you're. Unable to attend this lesson. Okay, I'm sorry, sorry that you cannot learn Japanese today. I'm sorry, sorry. Okay, the next word is kore, kore, and this is the opposite of sorry, which is this. Okay, so sorry was that, and kore is this. How do we remember this? We need a mnemonic, something funny. Let's imagine a curry. A curry, mmm, delicious. So, kore sounds like curry. This kore is delicious. Kore, this curry kore is delicious. <laughs> Word number five, inu, inu. So, this means dog in Japanese. So, let's imagine you, you found a dog on the street and you say, oh, I knew that was a dog. It wasn't a cat. I knew it was a dog. Okay, word number six is neko. Neko, neko. This means cat. So, imagine a cat that scratches your neck ah, and you're like, ah, my neck. Oh, neck. And、uh, the next one is kuruma, kuruma, and this means car, a car, driving a little car.、Uh, good mnemonic for this one is that you've heard a cool rumor that your friend's got a really cool car. Okay, kuruma, cool rumor that your friend's got a cool car. Beep, beep. Okay, the next word is onna, onna, and this means woman in Japanese. So, onna, how do we remember this? Well, let's think of a woman with lots of onna. Lots of onna, a very honorable woman, onna. Okay, next word is otoko, otoko, and this means man in Japanese. So, otoko, how do we remember this? Imagine you're in Tokyo and there's loads of men. Running around you, and you're like, what the hell? Oh, Tokyo, this is Tokyo, it's so busy, loads of men running around. Otoko, otoko. Okay, so the next word is des, and this means 
it is, is, am, or are. Okay, so there's many different kind of meanings for the English equivalent, but if you just remember those, you'll hear this a hell of a lot in Japanese and it always goes at the end of the sentence. So, today we're going to be doing some sentences with this and we're going to practice it, so don't worry. It's very, very important though. So, I hope you've got all of those words, guys. Now we're going to move on to the grammar point. Woo! So today we're going to look at the particle wa, okay? So this is the topic marker, and hence it marks the topic of the conversation in Japanese. Okay, but whoa, 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 whoa. When we're writing this particle, we need to use the hiragana ha, okay? But when it's in a romaji form, we just use wa, okay? Don't ask me why. So, in English, the equivalent for wa would be kind of like as for, okay? So, as for me, I like sushi, or as for her, she is a fashion sensation, you know? So, think of it at first as as for, and it will make things a lot easier. Right then, let's look at an example with the vocabulary that we've just learnt, okay? So, let's take a look at this sentence. Watashi wa ben desu. Watashi wa ben desu. Okay, so we have watashi, which is I. We have wa, which is the topic marker. We have ben, my name. And we have des, which can mean it is, is, am, or are. Okay, so watashi wa, the topic marker is always placed after the topic. So, for example, as for me, watashi, me, as for me, watashi wa, ben desu. I am. As for me, Ben I am. So it's kind of like Yoda, a little bit. <laughs> Watashi wa Ben des. Okay? Watashi wa Ben des. So let's try a few more and we'll try and understand and get used to this kind of uh, sequence. Watashi wa Inu des. Watashi wa Inu des. Watashi wa, as for me, I'm the topic. Watashi wa Inu des. Dog I am. Watashi wa Inu des. Watashi wa Inu des. <coughs> Let's have a look at another sentence, but this time the des has a slightly different meaning. Instead of am, it's going to mean a this time. So, here's the sentence. Anata wa aya desu. So, anata, you, you're a nutter. Okay. Wa, the topic marker. So, the topic is you. You, as for you. Okay. Next, we have a name, aya. Aya desu. Aya desu. So, you are. Ah, I. As for you, I are this. As for you, I are. Ah, okay. As for you, anata wa, I are this. Ah, I are. You are, I Okay, so hopefully you can kind of understand that now. So it's time to look at some more sentences to really kind of get this working in your brains and try and put the pieces of the puzzle together. Oh, yeah. Kore wa neko this. Kore wa neko this. This. Is a cat. As for this, cat it is. This is a cat. Sore wa bendes. Sore wa bendes. Sore that. As for that, ben des. Ben it is. That is ben. As for that, ben it is. Okay? So that is ben, basically. Sore wa bendes. Watashi wa ona des. Watashi wa ona des. Watashi wa, as for me, ona des. I'm a woman. So, as for me, I'm a woman. Watashi wa ona desu. Sore wa otoko desu. Sore wa otoko desu. Okay, so that is a man. That is a man. As for that, it is a man. Kore wa kuruma desu. Kore wa kuruma desu. This is a car. Kore wa, as for this, car it is. Kore wa kuruma desu. This is a car. So guys, really good job. Let's have a quick summary of today's grammar and vocabulary. Watashi, what a sheep I am. Watashi, I, me. Anata, you. Sore, that. Kore, this. Inu, dog. Neko, cat. Kuruma, car. Ona, woman. Otoko, man. This is, am, um, it is, are. Wa is the topic marker and marks the topic of the conversation. Watashi wa ben desu. I am ben. 
So guys, after this lesson, I need you to go away and write 10 sentences of your own. Okay, use all the grammar and use today's vocabulary. Okay, this way you're gonna remember it a lot better. It's like a muscle. If you don't use it, you're gonna lose it. Right then, so next lesson, we're gonna be looking at the subject marker, ga, okay? Really, really cool lesson coming up. We're gonna, there's gonna be 10 more vocabulary words. There's gonna be, you know, just more knowledge coming your way to make you an all, all around better speaker of Japanese. And that's what we want to do here. We're gonna build the foundations to create the ultimate Japanese speaker. You, the master, the sensei. Okay guys, mata ne. Nihongo